guys, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video that I was on the fence of making, but it's definitely something that I need to make and share with you guys. So recently I shared with you guys a haul from Bliss um, Facial Care and I have been promoting Bliss in my CVS deals um, for a while now. And unfortunately I just, I have to share with you guys the truth of what Bliss has done to my skin. So starting back on um, July 4th is when I first started like noticing like my skin flare ups and I went back to full blown cystic acne and I still have the scarring from it. You can see it right here. And I'm still kind of like, um, healing right here as well. And I know for a fact, that bliss is what's doing this to me because I switched back over to my first aid beauty with no fragrance and I did more mild stuff on my face and that cleared it up. And then I switched back to bliss again because I wanted to give bliss one more chance while I was on an anti-inflammatory diet and my skin still flared up. So um, I know for a fact that it was probably, that I know for a fact that bliss is what's causing my acne flare ups and cystic acne and particular. So um, I'm going to share some photos with you guys and share with you guys how bad my skin has reacted to it. Um, and I think the biggest culprit definitely has to be probably the fragrances that are in the Bliss products. So I think that that's the main thing that's causing all the flare up. So if you're someone like me who has super sensitive skin, um, I would suggest maybe you don't try the Bliss line. Um, I have a ton of Bliss products that I still have in my possession. So um, I'm probably going to go ahead and give to a friend um, and see if it works for them. But um, I have thought about doing like a giveaway with you guys and giving you guys the skincare, but I'm hesitant for it because I don't want to give you something that's potentially going to, you know, cause your skin to go into like crisis like mine. Like I've been talking with Pam so much through Instagram, just giving her like updates of my skin and how everything is going. And um, she said at the best, it, I just had some really angry skin and that's exactly what was going on. So unfortunately, um, I'm not going to be promoting the Bliss skincare anymore. Um, and I really wanted to come to you guys and just tell you guys the truth of how my skin has reacted to it. So that maybe if you were on the fence of trying Bliss, that maybe you might think twice. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to share those photos with you guys in this next clip. cautious when you're going to the drugstores and picking up the bliss line if you're someone who is really sensitive um, up to non fragrance so I've been following dr. Dre and I've been learning so much from her so I actually took her advice and I just went to a mild skin cleanser and I'm using the CVS health brand um, uh, topical pads like the stridex type pads but the CVS brand and the benzoyl peroxide is really helping clear the acne um, and I'm just trying to moisturize my skin as much as possible protect it while I'm in the skin and I'm really just hoping that my skin heals um, to its full potential so I but you be your own judge. So if you are using the Bliss skincare and it's doing nothing in terms of breaking you out or giving you any problems, then by all means, continue the product. And don't use my experience as a reason for you guys not to try Bliss out. Um, definitely, it's at your discretion if you want to try the products or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and appreciated me coming on here and giving you guys you know, the full feedback of a skincare line that I tried and didn't actually work out for me. So um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.